Hi ladies and gents and welcome back to the S&P 500 pre-market session for traders down here in Australia. My name is Lachlan Ellsworth. I'm an index trader, very, very passionate index trader. I trade a very, very simple uh, strategy, uh, but it just keeps on working. If I say that tonight, might be a little bit contradictory to say that uh, I've actually got three screens worth of volatility to show you, which is very rare, very rare at this time, uh, at this time of night. However, we actually only managed to pick up I believe just on one and a half points, literally just on one and a half points, so just on a seven point uh, seven point five percent return, which is, which is not very very much fun for two hours worth of trading. But then again, it's I suppose it's still a positive return. You can see here we started the session in a sell bias. That was actually uh, that was actually great because again pick up a great sell signal. Off we go. We, the, actually, the first sell signal we picked up was this continuation sell over here. Now, because we were trading it towards the gap for the first time, we actually took a very very shallow profit target. Uh, most of the traders managed to get at one and a half points. So as you can see here, this line was a warning to say, guys, get out at one and a, one and a quarter points. Certainly on the screen as I was personally as I was personally charting it. Now we run through to uh, a third of the way through the uh, third of the way through the session, and we couldn't actually pick up uh, couldn't actually pick up a great deal at all. I lost line of sight. Um, I lost line of sight just here for a uh, for a big picture buy signal, which uh, which was a shame because it would have been absolutely brilliant to uh, to jump on that. As you can see, what happened? We bounced up the gap, and that actually took me to uh, the end of the first uh, third of trading. If we look at the uh, if we look at the second third, uh, just here, uh, didn't take long. Actually, didn't take long. In fact, to jump into another signal, we got that uptrend, bopped along, bopped along. We actually got this big picture sell, literally big picture sell just here. Now you'll note that again, it only went down, only went down just on one and a half points. Now you note that we do use a four touch rule, particularly for those traders that are aggressive about taking their money off the table if the market defines it. As it turns out here, you can see the market has actually touched the price level at least seven times, giving anybody with the four touch rule no excuses but to jump out of their trade. So we actually managed to get another 1.25 points or another 7.5% off this screen. So totaling around 15% so far for the session. We missed out on this massive up run here, ladies and gents, uh, we just didn't pick up a, uh, a signal that was worthy uh, that was worthy of taking uh, in accordance with our uh, our plan. Finally, going through to the, um, the the final part of the session, no more signals whatsoever. So a little bit disappointing. Ultimately, though, if you were uh, if you were able to jump on it and take it, 15% was up for grabs tonight. Uh, one contract trader could have earned quite happily just on 150 US dollars. A 10 contract trader in comparison would have been 10 times that, so just on 1500 US dollars. So another flat, uh, another flat night, so to speak. Um, certainly not as good as earlier in the week. Let's uh, let's wait and see what uh, the market has for us, and uh, we'll just keep trading and uh, and keep on seeing what we can come up with. Have a great night, ladies and gents, and bye for now.